द ब्राइन स्टोरी इज ए स्टोरी अबाउट हाउ एक्सपीरियंसिस शेप अवर ब्राइंस इट इज ऑल्सो स्टोरी अबाउट ह्यूमन रिलेशनशिप्स बिकॉज वी डेवलप ऑन दो अराउंड फॉर द एक्सपीरियंसिस दट बिल्ड अवर ब्राइन आर्किटेक्चर एज अ कम्युनिटी when we identify how and when to support children and families in the course of development we can change how the story unfolds so the all of us regardless of background and life circumstances have the chance to lead happier healthier lives build stronger communities and reduce risk for mental health problems including addiction brain development is a process that begins shortly after conception and continues into our mind 20 seconds the brain is formed for an embryonic structure called the neural tube in a process called neurulation over the course of the next few months these embryonic brain cells proliferate differentiate into specific cell types and migrate to take up appropriate positions within the growing structure of the brain Once there these cells begin to form the connection that will make up the brain's neural circuits the first few years of life are a period of intense activity in the developing brain connections are rapidly being formed among brain cells that allow them to exchange information and from circuits these circuits form the architecture of brain and are what allow us to interpret information from our environment and interact with the world around us every thought feeling and action we perform originates from our brains the most basic circuits that govern our most basic skills like our sensory systems from first and provide the foundation and scaffolding for more complex circuits governing more complex behaviors like language attention and emotion regulations to build on the top the circuits governing all of our skills are built sequentially with simpler skills providing the support for more complex behavior over time in fact our most complex skill set called executive function doesn't finish developing until we are in our mind 20s once the connection in a given brain circuit are formed the brain refines these connection through the experience the connection that get used the most to become very strong and resistant to change and those that get used the least get weaker and are eventually lost this is a normal development process called pruning and it allows the brain to create more efficient circuits over time what's important to remember is that the experience we have in childhood will have an impact on how our brain circuit get used high quality experience will reinforce important cognitive social and emotional skills that are necessary for learning forming close relationship and positive health outcomes and will create a solid foundation for additional development children who do not have these same opportunities or who are exposed to negative experiences like maltreatment or witnessing domestic violence often have a poorer outcomes in comparison this is way the quality of the brain's architecture can have a profound influence on our outcome throughout life positive interactions called servant return interaction by scientists involve back and forth play between children and caregivers these experience build strong brain architecture create a solid foundation for learning behavior and health we know that healthy relationship between children and caregivers are important for building strong brains starting with the new bonds a responsive child caregiver bond builds a strong foundation for development through servant return interactions servant return works like a game of tennis or volleyball between child and caregivers the child serves by reaching out for interaction with eye contact facial expressions gesture babbling or touch your responsive caregiver will return the serve by speaking back playing peekaboo or sharing a toy or love these back and forth exchanges are building blocks of children's eye brain development they help children learn how to control their emotions cope with the stress and learn skills that will serve as a foundation for later development 
a caregiver who is sensitive and responsive to a young child's signals provides an environment rich in service and return experience what happens when a child serve and no one step up to return the ball over time failing to respond when a child reaches out will weaken brain architecture and impair the development of skills and abilities behavior and health research shows that an effective way to prevent these kind of neglect is to provide more support to familiar and communities learn more about overcoming neglect by reading about toxic stress most of us spend a growing portion of your day looking at screens be they computer monitors televisions laptops or smartphones these devices also attractive to children as they offer entertainment and in some cases a degree of interaction however devices also have a potential to interfere with server and return interactions a caregiver who is interacting with a smartphone may miss a child's cues or serves over time tense missed opportunities for child adult interactions can add up and have a negative impact on brain development similarly children who spend time on devices may serve less frequently which also limit the number of child adult interactions they experience during crucial periods of development technology is here to stay so it's important to consider its use within the broader context of daily experience that are important for healthy brain development children need adequate sleep opportunities to play with cognuness and peers time for family meals and activities time for homework if they are school and most importantly time for lot of rich serve and written interaction through their day if there is time left in a day once these needs are met devices can be used with caregiver supervision that is appropriate for the development age and stage of the child remember these devices are educational for better or worse they can help teach literally skills just as easily as they can help teach attitudes and beliefs about ourselves others and the world around us this means that any media content a child is exposed to need to be appropriate for both the child and for the interned use how can it be that something as intangible as experience can cause biological changes to the brain the idea of brain architecture explain how experience we have in childhood help strengthen or weaken the connection and circuits involved in a particular behavior however serve and return interaction can help affect how our genes are expressed contrary to what many people believe our fate sort not set in stone by our genes it is true that everyone has a set of genes that provide cells with a basic blueprint of development and operations but new research from the field of epigenetics shows that our genes are designed to be sensitive to experiences during certain period of development our earliest experiences can actually stimulate structure changes to the area surrounding each gene influencing whether the gene is exposed for example it has been known for some time that the quality of infant caregiver relationship has an impact on emotional regulation sensitivity to stress in children positive neutral relationships help children learn how to control their emotions and cope with positive and tolerable stress toxic stress result in anxiety and a great sensitivity to stress in children and these heightened sensitivity endures in adulthood long after to toxic stress as acquired more recent research has revealed the mechanism behind this phenomenon the infant caregiver relationship alter the experience of genes responsible for regulation emotions and stress through on epigenetic change in this way yearly experience can be biologically embedded in our brains and bodies and produce long lasting changes in our behavior